Hello everybody, it is a great day for troubleshooting. So we're gonna to talk today about obtaining Windows event logs in this just-in-time video short. I'm Matt McClellan and this is a pretty easy topic for us to cover. Um, and it's one of these important things because event logs are needed in just about every support case that has to do with a CIC server or some sort of client application. Um, you'll sometimes hear them referred to as the app event log or the system event log or event viewer logs. These are all terms for the same thing. This is an application that runs on every Windows machine and they're a way for us to sort of combine the, the Windows issues that may be going on in the environment with the possible CIC issues uh, that'll be going on. So um, they're easily obtainable, as I said, from any Windows machine. And let's walk through here really quick how you get them. Here I am on a desktop machine or a client machine or a type of user machine. And there's a couple different ways you can get to the actual event viewer. Uh, the easiest way, if the system is configured for it, is to come here to this administrative tools um, menu that is underneath the start menu. And as you can see here, you can get right to this thing called the event viewer, which is where we want to get. But sometimes administrators have client machines set up so that the administrative tools menu isn't there. Uh, so, so the second way you can do this is a lot of times you can come here to the control panel. That's typically on every machine. And then if I, I'm gonna actually change the view here to be by small icons, you can get to that administrative tools menu uh, through the control panel. And then you can see event viewer right here as well. Um, the third way, if you are a shortcut key person, um, you can come to start, run, or I say shortcut key because you can press the Windows key in R and it will bring up the run menu, is just to type what I've got here, event VWR all together. And when you click on OK, it's going to go ahead and open up the event viewer for you. So all three ways that I just showed, showed you will come to this application called the event viewer. And you can see there's a tree structure here on the left and then there's a detail view here on the right. Now, the event logs that we typically want for a CIC case, or the, the ones that the support engineer will ask you for, are underneath this section heading called Windows Logs. And inside of there, you can have anywhere from three to what you see five, depending on the version of the OS that you have, um, logs. And you can see there's one called Application, Security, Setup, System, and Forwarded Events. Typically, the log that support is looking for is this application event log because most of the CIC applications are designed to trace out important things into that application event log. Sometimes they will also request the system and then possibly the security, but those aren't as common today as they used to be in the past because like I said, most of the CIC applications are going to trace out problems into the app event log. And that's this is where you get app event log or you get sys event log. They're talking about specific logs that are underneath this Windows log heading. So, and if actually, if you expand the plus box, you'll see the list over here as well. Now, if I click on application, um, as it pulls up, you'll see there's a number of events in here. If we need to obtain any of these logs, uh, it's, it's relatively simple. You highlight the log over here in the left side, you right click, and it'll say down here, save all events as. And so if I click on that, it's gonna bring up the save dialog. You could save it here to the desktop and you want to just leave the type as it is, EVTX, which is a uh, current version of it. In the past, uh, the event logs were saved as EVT, uh, but you just wanna name it. Uh, sometimes you may wanna put the name of your CIC server if that's what it is, or if it's the name of the client machine uh, and say something like app event, just save the log off and when you do that, it's done and you've got a log here on the desktop. You just want to drop that into the FTP folder that support gives you and that's all there is to it. And now on your to-do list for today, you can check off learn how to gather Windows event logs. This has been a just-in-time video short. I'm Matt McClellan.